Good afternoon, YouTube. This is man all the way George Page, a.k.a. the Emperor of uh, Female Bobby and Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, uh, this weekend we have one of the biggest shows, which will be featuring women's bodybuilding. That is Chicago Pro. It's going to be the 11th Chicago Pro. And, you know, I, it's a pretty big show for women's bodybuilding. I think next to, I would say, uh, Tampa and also... Um, Puerto Rico, some of the biggest, New York also, some of the biggest qualifier for the Olympia for women's bodybuilding. And we got two more shows left, folks, you know, for qualification. And, you know, some ladies are trying to come in. They just, you, know, you want to get in and make it in time. So, you know, and I want to um, recognize these women and talk about these ladies. Now, this is the list. And this is a pretty good list. It's uh, nine ladies at this show. And I thought it'd be more, you know. But as you know, they also have another show which is a pro qualifier. And I'll talk about it when I get into this um, video. So first up here, we have here, Shaquita Barrow. She's been busy. She just did the um, Atlanta Pro last week. She did the New York Pro um, about a couple months ago. Persevering lady. She, surprisingly, she came in fifth of this show. And I remember, I didn't see her in the first call out. And then she was able to come out and come behind and come into the the finals. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, she has something that the judges saw about her that pulled up into the first, into the finals. Next up, we have Chelsea Dion. Now, Chelsea is a, a Wing Street ambassador, and she's making her debut at Chicago. I think Chelsea has those qualities that, like, similar to somebody like Stephanie Fletcher. You know, she, you know, she's a little taller, wide shoulders, great definition. I think this is possibly the show that might, you know, I don't know. It depending on how you know, the lineup looks, and um, it's a good chance she might do pretty good. We have here Miss Cheryl Faust, you know, Faust, Faust, I want to sorry, Miss Cheryl Faust. And Cheryl, you know, she, I've done an interview with her before, a lovely lady. She's been competing as a body for quite a long time. And, um, you know, this is going to be her, um, you know, I think she's been in Chicago before. And she's also doing Masters, is there's like women's 40 and 40 and 50. So, you know, she's double dipping. So maybe, you know, if she don't win, you know, place in this show, hey, you win a little prize money. In the uh, master division, so good luck to Cheryl. I remember I sent her good luck on Facebook, and she appreciate that. Here we have here is Tamara um, McCarr, and Tamara she just did the Atlanta also. And remember, Tamara was in the first um, call out, and they don't know what was going on. Why she was in the first when she was the finals? I mean, um, but me and McCarr, um, uh, McCarr, uh, sorry, so me and Tamara have been talking back and forth for night. G, uh, she's a lovely lady. I love her British accent, so sexy. And maybe, uh, like I said, I'm going to Savannah. In um, September, so I'm hoping I might meet up with her and we talk. You know, maybe you can get her to do an interview for me for my channel. I think she's an amazing lady, and I respect her. You know, hard work and commitment to the sport of bodybuilding. We also here is last year's champion Sheena Olick, and she, you know, um, Sheena, you know, she did pretty good last year. You know, able to win this show um, in when it was in Atlanta, and then I make a return for defending her title. And, you know, while back Sheena has a surgery, surgery, surgery. You know, I try to keep in contact with Sheena, and um. Yeah, you know, I think she's a, she's an amazing lady. She has great looks, lines, and beautiful too. I mean, and she is beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry to joke at that. Then we have here is Sherry Priami, and this is Sherry's second um, bodybuilding show. As you know, Sherry competed at the uh, uh, Atlanta Pro uh, last weekend. She took second at the show, and she was, as you know, physique, and she had competed in 2020. And she might do pretty good to show. It's just, like I said, all depending on how the lineup looks. And like I said, it is a pretty good lineup. Here we have Jenny Welper. Uh, you know, Jenny, as you know, she, she made her debut as a bodybuilder at the Savannah Pro last year. She took she got in the top five. She took fourth. And Jenny's also a strength ambassador. And uh, she did the uh, work to boost over at the uh, Atlanta Pro. And this is going to be her second show as a pro bodybuilder. So, you know, all the best of luck to... Oh, actually, she, you forget, you know, Jenny is also a veterinarian. So, I would say Dr. Welker. So, best of luck to Dr. Welker. Here we have here is Angela Yo. And Angela, you know, she has been competing for quite a bit. I mean, you know, she is a... Uh, was physique. She only for pro physique. And she's making her debut in bodybuilding. And, you know... um. I even reached out to her one time, asking her if she's planning to do, um, you know, um, bodybuilding. So she seems to say no at the time, but from what I follow on social media, she's getting on a little bit of size. And I think it's a good move for her to do our bodybuilding and doing the physique. But, you know, um, I hope she does good this show. I think she's a possible dark horse. And then last but not least, my dear friend, the lovely Miss Tina S. Williams. And, you know, what? 
you know, Tina, she competed at the um, Atlanta Pro last week. Um, and um, she didn't do as good as she should have. I, I, I love Tina. I think she's a great person. You know, her and her husband, Mr. Big Keith, they've been... They've been always people give me information, let me know stuff. We've been talking back and forth, and I hope it's a show that can probably get her maybe Olympic qualification or even enough points where she does another show and get a qualification. And she know also she's planning on doing the Rising Phoenix um, in November, and maybe she can get some points there. She can probably can do some other shows and maybe get points for next year. But like I said, Tina is a great lady. She, she's really been working hard, and she really wants to earn her um, first Olympia uh, qualification. Here we have here, as you know, there's the other show, which is called the Miss International, which is a pro qualifier. As you know, Miss International back in the day was originally uh, a show that was part of the Arnold Sports and Classic. Uh, but you know, you know, Arnold, as you know, walked quite behind Fiona Bada Bell and Sam in the Heart. And this show is an opportunity for ladies to qualify. Now, this is one thing you, you, people might not remember. Sometimes, some of these women would do like this. Once they get their pro card, they'll jump over and do the Chicago Pro in the women's division. And I think, I don't know when they're supposed to start um, the, uh, I forgot what day, you know, time they're supposed to start the, uh, the Miss International. I think it might be um, maybe today, maybe this day, I believe. And then once they do that show, they earn their, you know, they earn their pro card. So, you know, and you know, last year, Cheryl Herwin, yeah, uh, he wins, sorry, um, she um, became Miss International. But the big question is what happened? She wasn't at the, uh, um, you know, Miss International at the Rising Phoenix. But, you know, I'm hoping I'm um, going get a chance to talk to her. I've been leaving her some um, you know, messages on um, IG. Maybe she, you know, I don't know. I know she's a busy lady because she's a trainer. Maybe we get to see, um, maybe I get to find out what information she can give me. Because, like I said, I want to give a lady like this an uh, opportunity to share her story and, and also tell, you know, her how she got into bodybuilding. I think, you know, she's just she, she's just a mystery to me. And you know what? I'm like Ahab chasing after that white whale. <laughs> we'll be thick. So I hope maybe we can get a talking about it. As you know, you know, the winner of that show, of the Miss International Show, gets to go to the Rising Phoenix and they're a pro. Because, you know, all you got to do is, like, win your, um, your, your classes, your weight classes, and that you automatically get your pro card. And then you win your overall, you become the Miss International and get to go to the Rising Phoenix. But, you know, I hope best of luck to anybody who wins that title and good representation of female bodybuilding. Now, here we have here is Vizik. As I saw, I saw on social media that Vizik already had their prejudging today. I mean, wow, you know, I should have done this video yesterday. But, you know, you know what I mean? I'm busy working on so many stuff and trying to get everything out together. And this is, a, like I said, as always, uh, Vizik has a stack list. There's a lot of ladies out here. Some are pretty much familiar and um, some not too familiar. Uh, first off, we have here, uh, to to Fifi to Fifa Akimo and you know uh, Miss Akimo she did the um, Omaha Pro about a couple months back just about and I think she made top five of that show pretty impressive woman so she's a possible um, contender also we have uh, Jaquin uh, uh, S Burrow Burrow I'm gonna say her name out Miss Burrow she also did the Omaha and she also took top five I think she yeah she took place top five because that show. I think who won that show? I forget. You know, I'm trying to. Oh yeah, it was Chelsea Walsh or uh, Wish Worser uh, who won that show, and I think um, Miss Burrows took um, uh, second, I believe. But you know, I hope she's probably qualification for her. Now this is a lady who I'm a fan of. I follow on social media. She is amazing. Uh, Ryan B, or better known as Olivia Bay. As you know, Olivia last year she did Chicago. Was it no? She did Chicago in 2020, which gave her her first. Olympia qualification, and you know she competed at the uh, 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 Legion Sports Fest last year, and you know she's from China and she competes. She comes over here and competes, and this is an opportunity maybe to um, get her title back. It's been a while. You know, I'm a fan of her. She's she just I love her videos. They're so enjoyable. You know, she does a lot of comic stuff. She's you know she's crazy. I would love to interview someone like Olivia. I've done videos about Olivia, so I would love to interview her if she ever ever had time and chance. Because sometimes she comes to South Carolina and she hangs with Monique Jones, so that'd be a great opportunity. Here we have here is Miss um, Samaria uh, Ford, and Miss Ford she earned her pro card in 2020 at the uh, uh, amateurs in um, at the Olympia. Um, I said not much about her, you know, try to find some information, but I hope she does pretty good. She looks just physique. I mean, she looks, she has great looking physique. So, you know, maybe, you know, depending on how this show looks. 
this is the person I think people would be concerned with, and that is Ashley Jones. Now, Ashley, I just saw a video of her just doing her routine at the uh, Chicago Pro on um, on the uh, We Your Strength um, uh, IG uh, uh, page, channel, I might say. Yeah, and, um, you know, Ashley is going to be a contender. I mean, you know, um, last year, she earned her uh, first Olympia qualification because, you remember, she was originally figure, but she switched to physique. And she um, competed at Tampa, and she earned a qualification at Texas. But then something happened. She got sick when she got to um, to Olympia in Orlando, and uh, she had to drop out. So this is possibly another run for a chance at Miss Olympia. So good luck to you, Ashley. Here we have here is one Miss Danielle uh, Laura, um, Mar uh, Martin, Martina, Martina, I don't know. Um, I don't know much about, about her. I think this is her pro debut. Um, she's competed at shows like it's a NPC universe. And like I said, she's possibly up and coming, but it's all, it's all up, uh, what's going to go on. We have here is one, um, Amanda Machado. As you know, Amanda, she has competed at the, um, Omaha, Omaha pro a while back. I think also Amanda is a student of um, Alina Popa, I believe. I'm trying to I think. I believe that she is. And, you know, Amanda has a great look to her. She's a Brazilian bodybuilder who lives here in the States. And I think, you know, she has good enough points. All she needs is just enough so she can get in the top three. Or maybe by qualifying. But it's tough, you know. There's a few more shows for women's physique to probably get a qualification for the Olympia. Here we have more Miss Oksaka uh, Priari, I mean, I want, I, want me, I, want to, I want to get the name right. And she, yesterday, she competed in Women's Masters for Physique. And she won. So she's competing in this show today in Physique. So it's all depends on how she does. But, you know, like I said, a lot of these ladies who are more mature, there's a growing number of mature women coming into bodybuilding. And much respect to her. We have here once Miss Diana Schreitz, I want to get a name right because I didn't hear about her. And she's originally from Germany. And she hadn't competed since, I think, the Tampa. So this will be her first show for the year. Um, I hope she does pretty good, you know, Diana. And um, much respect to her. Here we have here one Miss Maya Stone. And I think Miss Ma Stone has been competing as a, physique, as a physique competitor for about a couple of years. Um, you know, she's also possibly a, a you know, you know, I think she is, you know, like I said, as much information I got about her, I think she's an amazing lady. I got to give respect to her. I may reach out to me for an interview. We have here is one Miss um, Idre Thomas. Uh, yeah, I want to give a name my home. I must, I'm, if I get the first name wrong, I'm saying Miss Thomas. And she um, did the, um, also she did the um, the master show yesterday for Women's Physique. And I think she took second in that show. And I think she also did New York Pro not that long ago. And I think she made the top five of that show. I'm trying to remember. But like I said, she has a great look to her. I think she's a much older, mature woman. I mean, I love my my my, my, my mature sisters of Melanin. So I uh, wish her good luck. We have here one Miss uh, uh, Kasia, Kasia, I think Kasia, Kasia uh, Topar, Topar, you know, I, <laughs> uh, I almost say Miss, um, I almost cut the T out, I said Miss Asia. And she also competed at the um, uh, Chicago um Pro and the Women's Physique um, with Masters. And I think she got some good look, great line to her. I mean, great muscle and very attractive woman, I might say. So I say we best of luck. Here we have here Natalie Ray Wolf. And Natalie's been in the game for quite some time. She competed as a body as a in physique for a good bit. Um, you know, she did the Omaha about a couple months back. And I think she made top five of that show, I believe. Or she might have got top six. I'm trying to remember, you know. It's, it's sometimes you forget a lot of these things. There's a lot of this stuff going on. So anyway, we have a, is an uh, up and comer and possibly a, a new pro, and that is one Miss Katharina Younger. And um, you know she looks pretty impressive. I think you know I think she earned a pro card about ooh last year or maybe this year. I'm trying to find most information on her because it's hard to find this information on a lot of these ladies, especially not too much on social media. But um, all depending on how she looks and if she brings in good conditioning, she might be a top five contender. Top five, maybe top ten. So anyway, I have a mystery I want to solve. And anybody can solve it for me. As you know, I recently said, recently did a, talked about how Mona Pasole has moved to Texas. And the big question is, you know Mona has 12 points on the uh, Chicago, for the um, Olympia qualification. And I'm wondering, what show Mona's going to do? Now, Mona's working the booth for the Wise and Phoenix, you know, for the, I mean, for the Wings of Strength in Chicago. 
And the question is, is she competing this year? I mean, you know, or is she going to go back to Tampa, defend her title? And also we have um, Christina Bryant, who's, you know, making up a debut as bodybuilder. So the question is, is she competing? I mean, you know, you know, I'm just wondering. I mean, the other girl right here, Natalia, she's huge. Wow, she's big. Wow, she's huge. So the question is, like, is Natalia doing anything or is she just sitting out and chilling? But um, like I said, that's the thing about this. You know, it's up to Mona when she's going to compete. And also it's up to Christina when she's going to um, make her debut. But I'm hoping they do soon. I mean, like I said, I'd like to give these ladies any kind of news or any kind of attention to be recognized for their hard work and commitment. So anyway, they already done the, uh, yesterday they did the uh, Pro Masters for Physique. Today they're doing the um, physique uh, 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 pre-judging and for some other divisions. And I think tomorrow is women's bodybuilding. So they do the live stream. So you already have the live streams for the pre-judgings and other stuff. And so I think women's bodybuilding is tomorrow. So I want to say wish special luck to all these ladies. I hope they, um, you know, get their qualification for the Olympia. You know, most definitely I think the um for uh, I think the um for physique I think the battle is between I believe it's gonna be between Ashley and Olivia. There might be a couple of dark horses I believe, but that might be tough. But I think women's bodybuilding I'm gonna flip a coin on that one. And, you know, Sheena looks pretty good, and there's also um a dark horse like Angela Yao. You know, but like I said, most of these ladies uh, they are passionate about sport. Now, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you want to check out the live stream and support women's bodybuilding or just support bodybuilding in general. You know, all the other divisions, such as men's, you know, open, 212, also figure, physique, fitness. I mean, you know, these are the people putting hard work and time. And these men and women need to be recognized, and they should get a little something out of it. And I hope this is a, you know, this is a Tim Gartner show. And knowing Tim Gartner, he's already got everything set up. And he's one of the biggest supporters of women's body, but I have much respect to Mr. Gartner. I would love to interview him, too. I would love to interview him, too. Anyway, this is Mel O.A. George Page, a.k.a. The Emperor from Mel Bobby Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.